Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Megan and here recently I've actually been getting asked a lot about how you can easily charge a fee in addition to your product price that is listed on Shopify. For example, I have a website client who sells products on Shopify that can also be personalized. And if her customers choose to get that product personalized, she wants to charge an additional fee. This led me to finding the perfect upcharge app on Shopify that easily allows her to charge an additional fee along with the product price she has listed on her store. And in today's video, I wanna review this upcharge app with you so that way you know how you can easily charge your customers any kind of upcharge or additional fee if you need to for your products. Now in today's video, it's going to be me demonstrating how to add an additional fee for personalization specifically, but you can use this upcharge app for any kind of fee that you need to give to your clients or your customers on Shopify. Now you know the drill, let's jump into my computer and I'm going to review this upcharge app with you right now. Using the link down below in the description, you're going to pull up the Shopify app store. After you click the link below, just click on install. Then you're going to give the app more permissions by clicking install again. Now that we've got the app installed on our Shopify website, the first thing we're going to want to do is activate the app. You'll see up here that the icon has toggled on, so you want to make sure that's toggled on and then click save. Going back to the app inside of our Shopify dashboard, you'll notice that now there is a green check mark next to the activate app step one. Now we're going to create our first fee. To do that, click the little button that says create fee. We first need to decide if this is going to be a product fee or a cart fee. So if it's going to be a product fee, that means the fee will be calculated and added based upon specific products in the customer's cart. If it's going to be a cart fee, then the fee will be calculated based upon the cart subtotal and applied to the whole cart. For the sake of this video, we are going to be doing a product fee. Now we need to give our fee a title. Let's say we are charging more for personalization. So we're going to name our fee a personalization, and then we can input the kind we want it to be. So checkbox, drop down, radio, text field, date field, or hidden field. I am going to do checkbox. So now we need to give our fee some option values. So I'm going to name this one as personalization as well. And then I want this to be the default. So I'm gonna select this checkbox to make it be a default. For the price type, you can either do fixed or percent. I want it to be a fixed rate. And then my value, I'm going to say it's gonna be an extra $2 for personalization. And now scrolling down to the conditions, we need to add a condition so that way this fee does not get applied to every single product on our website. To start, we're gonna click add condition. And here you'll notice we have some condition options. So we can select product title, type, vendor, price. You can go through and see all the different options that the app gives you. For the sake of this video, we're gonna do product title. We've got equal to, is not equal to, contains, does not contain. For this one, we're gonna say is equal to, and then we're gonna input the title of the product that we want this fee to be applied to. Moving on, you can select the geography, so you can select whether or not you want the fee to be displayed for all countries or specific countries. And then on down in the fee settings, you'll notice that you can select whether or not you want the fee to be a one-time fee, and also whether or not the fee is required. So if you want the fee to only be added one time despite the amount of products that are added to the cart, you can select the fee is one time. And if you want the fee to be required, then you can select this checkbox. And that will prevent customers from checking out without having the fee enabled. Now that we have our personalization fee set up, I'm going to scroll up here and click save. And once you are ready to publish your fee, you can click publish. And going back to the app on our main Shopify dashboard, now you'll notice that we have green check marks next to activating the app, creating our first fee, and then we published our first fee in our store. Now let's take a look and see what our fee will look like when customers add our particular product to their cart. So this is my store for training tutorials. And as you can see right here, we have this personalization product. So you wanna make sure that you leave that, okay? Don't delete this, this is intentional. The app will need this in order to do the checkout correctly. So now let's go to my personalized sticker, which is the personalized Her Favorite stickers. And I'm gonna add it to my cart. And then I'm going to go ahead and view the cart. And as you can see here, the personalization has automatically been added. So there's the extra $2 fee. And then this is the personalized Her Favorite sticker price. Thank you for watching today's video. If you want to learn more about Shopify, different apps to use, email marketing, or just business things in general, then consider subscribing to my channel. And with that, I will see you in the next video.